Welcome to Red White Lagoon. We are a family of five humans and six dogs living in a 1983 Eagle bus. We sold our house to hit the road in our 350 square foot home on wheels. Tag along as we show you America through our lens. So what we got going on today, we're around the bus, got a few little projects, it's kind of been mounting up on us. So we're going to try to get those knocked out and take you guys along. Nothing too big, just little things to make life a little easier. Yeah, I mean, we showed you guys along our bus remodel and that was before we truly, truly moved into it. And so we know that some things need to be changed and we need to add some laundry storage solution. Any video I've seen, that always seems to be a problem with most folks. So we got a little, unless you want to tell them about it. Yeah, no, I came up with, I've been searching high and low and bless Amazon's heart. Um, I found laundry bags that actually have a hook on them and the uh, width that I needed was six inches and there was nothing that had six inches and I found these that are collapsible which is going to be great when we actually do get to hit the road and have to go to laundry mats because we can just take them right off there, take them straight in a laundry mat, bring them back in. So we're going to hook them to the wall. Somebody bought the wrong hooks to begin with. So talking about, you know, 75 trips to a hardware store. Um, I had an idea in my mind and I probably should have shown him a picture, so that may have been my fault. He got the wrong hooks that kind of screwed in, but these are much more durable and um, they are nice hooks that's going to- I guess it'd be to, like a coat rack hook or a coat hook Yeah, or they're, gonna go, they're gonna go on the wall and hold up said things. And there's going to be, we'll show you when we get in there, but there's four of them on either side of the bed. So we figured that was the best use of space. And then we got, of course, what other color? Gold baskets. Because, I mean, who doesn't love gold? Well, I guess we're going to put these in the kids' bunks. Yep. Add a little more storage for them as far as knickknacks and Well, we're kind of that. downsizing. They have gold bins in their um, bunks right now for, but it's just getting to be too cluttered and there's too much stuff in there they have plenty of bins underneath the bus for toys and everything and right now they're just putting too many things in their bus so we kind of need to fix that and then if you guys remember we had an electric shortage in our bedroom and we've yet to replace the lights we've just been procrastinating the, the strip led lights, yeah. strip lights so we're replacing strip lights in the bus today Hopefully the wires aren't damaged and... Yeah, I think we'll be okay there, but yeah. Um, but to update you, the, in the last videos, we had some AC issues. Um, like I said, we had our AC guy come out and take a look at it. And basically it just needed a good service. You know, the coils were disgusting, which you can see right here, the gook that came off. Ooh, pretty gross. Um, it was a little low on Freon, so we ended up giving a little Freon. We're actually doing some thinking about maybe doing an upgrade on our AC if and when our house sells. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of in, like, we're really in limbo. Yes, we're in limbo because of the pandemic that's going on because we don't want to be across states when our house sells and have to fly home for whatever reason. So that's really the main thing that is holding us here. So in the meantime, we're doing a few projects on the bus and we're thinking about doing a mini split in uh well i wasn't gonna tell them all that but oh. i guess the cat's out of the bag now but yeah we're, we're that's kind of what a lot of folks are going to because the efficiency on them is so great um but we're, we're just talking about it we haven't priced everything out yet but because the unit in there is fairly old so but i love how it has all the duct work ran yeah. to each of the bunks to the dog kennel you know there's i i like the duct work that's already there yeah but like i said we'll see and like you said if it's short on freon obviously it leaked out somewhere so it's only going to continue to do that but we'll see how it goes over the next you know little while and we'll make a decision from there but we'll go ahead and get these few little projects tackled and bring you guys along with us saw that we installed these um, 
wire baskets because the ones that we had in there kind of moved around and they put too many things in them and like this was all of Ben's from his other basket and he really didn't have that much stuff. So this is gonna save them a bunch of space. We did the same thing with Molly's and then the same thing with Eli's and it gives them honestly plenty of space to store their stuff and we'll see tonight if they kick them but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be okay. Look, this little beautiful little bunk here. I'm gonna put the video card up for this one right in here somewhere. Yeah, this has become one of my favorite pieces of the bus. The fact that, you know, it's all nice. Everybody's got an, a rail here so they can't fall out of it. And it looks really, really pretty. Like, I feel like it's a great design feature. So even though we're kind of stuck where we are currently until our house sells, we decided that we would order this cute little thing from Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks, something like that. We'll link it down below. But you put a little pin in everywhere. My children have moved this one. That, and we're starting from right here. So everywhere the bus goes, we're gonna put a pin um, in it. So I thought it was really cute little addition to add to the bus. Um. So I feel like you can never have enough reflective light in a bus. And this mirror actually came with our vanity in the bathroom. And I didn't wanna throw it out, but I found the perfect spot for it to go because this is where I do all of my makeup and it's where I record my photogenic videos. And um, I thought it would be a perfect light bouncing thing for in the bus. So that's why we put it right here. So I don't know about y'all, but we needed a laundry solution. Like we have so much laundry with three kids, two adults. There's a lot of laundry to go around. And I searched and searched on Amazon for something that was like six inches wide in order for it to fit on either side of our bed. And I finally found something, which was really cool because these, we put hooks on the wall and then these little babies hook right on the wall and then we take our dirty clothes and throw them down there. Then once we're ready to go to the laundromat, all we have to do is pull them up and then go take them to the laundromat. So I thought that this was a really, really good solution to our laundry issue. We used to have the laundry basket over there by the um, Kyle's dresser and it just wasn't working. Like it was in the way and we couldn't, you know, move stuff around. And then we had it like around where the mirror is over here and it was just cumbersome and a pain in the butt. So by putting these beside the bed, we freed up a lot of space. So you may have noticed if you've watched this far that we did not fix the lights going around the room and there's a great explanation for this. The explanation is that somebody, not mentioning any names, ordered the wrong lights because you can see up there we have our two um, connectors. Well, somebody didn't order the right connectors. So I've got to order those and get those in and then we can just connect them to that and then put them around the room hopefully but um i may not always be right but i'm never wrong so that person right there ordered the wrong lights well to let you guys hang out with the dogs me and the dogs for a little bit and see what they're up to this afternoon <gasps> miss wheezy girl you being a good girl today yeah mr theodore no licking the no licking the camera. So as you can probably tell, they're not spoiled at all. You know, he loves them with some attention. But I don't know if we've ever actually introduced all the dogs. Maybe. Well, this is Theodore. He is a two-year-old standard poodle. He, he's actually a certified service dog. This is Miss Eloise. She's also a standard poodle. She is also two years old. And this, this big burly fella right here chewing on Eloise's ear is Kevin. He is a one year old Labradoodle and he's actually a certified service dog as well. So thought I'd let you guys check in with the dogs for a little bit. Oh, no, no, forget Lucy. 
Lucy's the most tenured of our pups. She's 13 now? Yeah, March. Dog's Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. There's no easy gear. Well, I think we were able to get a couple needed projects done today. Brought you guys along with us. Nothing too extreme, but it's definitely stuff that needed to be done. Yeah, just a few things that storage wise and, um, you know, trying to liven up the space a little bit. Stuff that we've been putting off because it's annoying stuff to have to get to. Yeah, I think it's just it's stuff that you got to live in the space to see what you're going to really need out of the space. But um, overall, I mean, it's, you know, it looks pretty good. You know, there's still a lot of these little projects left to do. Before Next, we leave. Yeah, you know, just, you know, because, you know, you just only have so much space. You have and, so much space and you only have so much time when you're doing it for, you know, getting it done, done, done. So we can hurry up and finish and move in. Um, we were able to like sit back and be like, okay, we need several things to really function in our lives. And I think the laundry is my favorite by far. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. But as always, guys, we appreciate you watching this video and um, we will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.